Today we stand here together to celebrate and cherish a long-standing celebration called the Spring Festival. Also known as the Chinese New Year, this is a time to celebrate new hope, a fresh start, good health, prosperity, and peace. We are thankful that there is this time of year, the Chinese New Year, for such reflections. The world is a better place with holidays such as this. In our Dome Stewart community, we are also thankful. We are honored to have our students from China join the Dome Stewart family. For them, and all students, it's a special time in their lives as you all embark and succeed on your educational journeys. How wonderful that we can learn about this tradition, get to know a very rich and fascinating culture. The world is brimming with so many various cultures and traditions. The special meanings and reason for this Chinese New Year are universal ideas. Hope, prosperity, mending fences, luck. Thank you, God, for all many people and cultures in our world. Humanity is made stronger by diversity. Blessings to all people in the world, seeking a kind, kinder, gentler, loving world. Blessings to all of you here, for this is the start of a new year. Amen.
and the villager gives this strategy to scare the monster, and finally he kills the monster. And to celebrate the monster has been killed, he will start to put some red papers and they use some firework as uh, traditional to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And this is just a fairy tale. And actually, the Supreme Festival is the first day of the first lunar month in Chinese lunar calendar. And the meaning of the Supreme Festival is to pray for the good fortune and good wealth and longevity for the new year. And now we can start the. Uh, oh, yeah, this is our. Okay, fine. Uh, and we can see that that is part of the tradition. That's the lucky money and the red envelope. That's the most exciting part for the children. And they get money from their parents. And, and at that moment, their parents always call the children to do hard working to get the good grades in their school work. And people always uh, do some cleaning up at their house and workplace because they want to clean up the bad fashion they gathered from the old year. And some flowers can also mean the good lucky and good fortune for the new year. And this is the decoration, and this is also the decoration that put in on the red paper. And the decoration always put on the red and gold paper because that means the property and the, uh, the good fortune. <coughs> and this is the traditional Chinese uh, hero cut. And this is also the red paper decoration. That's a Child, children is lucky, and this is the fortune god of China. And now these two people is talk about the death symbol. Sorry. And death symbol is meaning the good luck in China, in Chinese, and that's from our life too. And that's the decoration you can see everywhere during the Chinese festival, festival in every Chinese people's house. Yeah. And sometimes we decorate it and we put it on the doorway and like the hallway and we put it upside down. And I had the reason to put it up, upside down because mm, it was called the, the reversal fu means fu dao in Chinese and that means good fortune is coming. Okay, now we, we have Liang, uh, Liang Tan to introduce us something about the, that year of course. Good morning, everyone. Happy Chinese New Year. As for the Chinese New Year, whatever the last year was, it is the horse year. Horse is the animal that has been helping us for thousands of years. People used to go hunting or farming with horses, and horse always means hardworking, brave, and royal to us. Guess what? The famous movie star, Halle Berry, was born in the year of horse too. <laughs> if you were born in the year of horse, do not pay too much attention to the little problems unless you want, you want to be stick to them. You will make a big progress on study. And the last one, fall in love with the people who were born in the year of rabbit instead of dog. Thank you.
before we trained. <laughs> we had less than two seconds left. Excellent. Thank you very much for, for helping with that and bringing that to us. And we thank uh, Shaoshi Tang for um, lending us this lovely thing and some lovely decorations as well. Um, and this is a special day. Thank you also to Leon Tang, Eric Zhao, Monica Zhang, Monica Zhang, and Dan Deng on our official drum. It's very special, right from China, that um, we are borrowing. We're very, very lucky to have that. Thank you again for this special day. I'd like to end with a um, couple of special words that are translated to be bringing um, um, prayers of blessing um, as they would be exchanging in their culture. Let us pray. May your wealth come to fill a hall. May you realize your ambitions. Greet the new year and encounter happiness. May all your wishes be fulfilled. May your happiness be without limit. May you hear that all is well. May a small investment bring 10,000 fold profit. May your happiness and longevity be complete. When wealth is acquired, precious objects follow. We are thankful for this lovely learning experience today. And again, the excitement and the diversity of culture just makes humanity just a wonderful, a wonderful experience for all of us to learn cultures. And we thank you, God. Amen. <laughs>